everyone, Aladar here. Um, today's gonna be a little bit of a different video, unfortunately. Um, a lot of people have been coming into my stream on uh, the other platform, and they've uh, been asking uh, where I've been. You know, why am I not streaming uh, uh, private content and stuff anymore? So I thought rather than just continuously re-answer the same question over and over again, I just post a video. Um, there's also a lot of people on YouTube. Um, where I have not been streaming lately um, that have no idea what's happened. So over the last, uh, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna explain to you what's been going on over the last couple of weeks. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about what, what lies ahead. So um, so first and foremost, um, for those of you, uh, maybe you're new or maybe I haven't really talked about it much, but my primary concern with, with streaming is to be able to, to, be able to stream uh, Classic WoW when it comes out. The instant that they announced that, the only thing that came to my head is I want to stream that. I want to stream that 20 hours a day. And that is the only thing that I'm interested in whatsoever for streaming. Um, I have no interest in um, retail. I have no interest in other games. I might play them from time to time, but it's not something that would be long term for me. The only thing I want to stream is classic World of Warcraft when that when when Blizzard finally releases those servers. Um, so with that being said, um, I made the decision to stop um, streaming uh, private servers and I'll, I'll explain why. Um, over the last couple of years, I've noticed a trend with Blizzard that every, um, every four or uh, it's about every five or six months, um, they go through a wave ban. And essentially what they're doing is they're protecting their, um, their content, their uh, intellectual property I guess you, you'd call it. Um, essentially, if they don't do, th and they're forced to do it. I don't blame Blizzard because they're forced to do it. If they don't do it, they, they run the risk, from what I understand, of losing copyright of that content. They actually have to show that they're trying to protect it. Um, if I'm wrong, someone correct me, but I believe that's correct. Um, so every five or six months, they have to go through this little mini ban um, to request that these streams be turned off. And it's not like it's hard to find these streams. If they wanted to, they could ban 30 or 40 people. There are literally that many people, at least, that are streaming this content. And you can very quickly do a search and find these people. So it's not like a Blizzard is, oh, damn, we, we are only able to find three people. Well, we'll ban those three people. No, they just randomly pick, you know, three, four, five people on both Twitch and, and YouTube. And, and that's it. Whereas they could probably do 40 people and easily find those people. So it had been about five or six months since the last time I, um, I remember them having a, a ban of wave or a wave ban, and um, about a week before the launch of Northdale, I just got a really, um, really bad feeling in the back of my head where I was like, "This is a bad time to stream," um, and I get this. And usually within a week or so, there are bans on Twitch, and it just seems to be in a cycle, and. Then I guess a couple of days before I found out that uh, Blizzard was giving a free weekend for World of Warcraft and immediately that signaled to me I, I can't stream this weekend because it, it seems to always um, align with when Blizzard is doing something else big in game whether it's BlizzCon or something else that that's when the bans kind of happen. So I knew that it was probably probably a bad time to maybe stream. So I promised myself that if after three or four days nothing happened, I'd go back to streaming. Everything would be, um, everything would be great, and we ju we just move on. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Um, several people, four or five that I know of, got bans on YouTube and on Twitch, whether they're 24-hour suspensions or three months ban. I believe there was one person that had a perma ban, although I'm not quite sure on that. But it it uh, got me thinking that okay it's not going to get any better the closer we get to classic the worse these bands are going to become there is no way that they are going to just leave it at that and i think the closer we get to classic the you might see bands once every couple of months or you know continuously and I, it's just not a risk i'm willing to take with especially with what i explained at the beginning of the video i want to stream classic that's the only thing that matters to me with streaming right now um, and I couldn't, I couldn't run the risk anymore. So um, I've decided to stop streaming private servers um, and showing private uh, server content um, on YouTube. 
Anything that's there now, I'll just leave for the time being. Um, but I'm not going to be uh, creating any more videos that, that use uh, classic content, um, uh, at least from private servers anyways. So with that being said, um, I know that there's a lot of you that have, um, um, I, maybe you're disappointed and, and I, I, it, that's actually what bothers me more than anything else is there's, I know there's a lot of people that, that watch my content because I, I play vanilla World of Warcraft. Um, and a lot of you started sh watching me because I was playing on private servers and stuff like that. So I, I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you in this way, but um, it's for the greater good in the long run, right? Um, I know it seems like it seems like a really long time away now. Now that I'm not playing on the private servers anymore, it feels like a really long time until I can actually stream vanilla, stream the game I actually want to stream. Um, but it will it will be worth it in the long run. Um, and I know it's disappointing for me as well um, but for those I, since I've been back streaming the last several days um, I am really really um, happy and, and I, I was really worried that you know people were gonna be pissed off and they weren't gonna come chat with me anymore and stuff like that and it, it's been the opposite I've had a lot of people say they understand a lot of people still show up um, and we've just kind of hit the ground running, which is amazing because I can't thank you guys more, uh, enough with all the support, all the follows that I've gotten. Um, I mean, if you're ever looking for a way to really f um, help out a stream, send a follow and turn your notifications on so that you know you can show up right away. It's um, th the number of people that have come to watch and, and chat with me, even though I'm playing retail, has been amazing. I am really thankful for you guys. Um, and it makes me playing the it makes playing the game of so much more fun to me because I know more people that are watching the stream than I actually really play the game with. So, um, anyways, so yeah, I, I, again, I, I can't I can't say thank you uh, enough, guys. I really really appreciate it. Um, now, as far as where I'm going from here, um, at this time, because of what's going on, um, now is when I am going to make my my best effort to to turn. To really focus on my on my stream as well as my YouTube content, so gone are the days where I'm just going to kind of randomly start. I'm going to try and set a schedule um, of at least four nights a week, um, and I'll try to stick to that as much as possible. My evening schedule kind of fluctuates once in a while. Uh, sometimes I get called out by teams for uh, to play ball or. Some friends want to go drink or whatever in the summertime. Like, I mean, it's not very often I can go sit on a patio in Canada and have a few drinks. But primarily, I want to stick to my schedule. Um, so on the other platform, I don't even know if I'm allowed to mention their name. That's where I'm going to go stream, and the link will be down below. Um, I would love it if those of you that were watching me on YouTube could come could come watch over there as well. Um, I know there's a few of you um, that the streams don't work at your work or whatever and I, I'm terribly sorry that I just kind of up and stopped streaming um, on on YouTube but I'm left with really with no choice ultimately in the long run I would love to get partnered on the on the other platform and unfortunately they just don't allow dual streams so that's something else that I had to cut out, cut out as well um, I want to start really involving people that are watching the stream in the game itself so whether I'm leveling or whether I'm um, whether I'm doing battlegrounds or raids or, or just general whatever in the game I'd like to involve people in the stream a lot more often um, I'm gonna attempt to probably do some giveaways and stuff like that um, kind of like I used to uh, a while ago um, and then um, uh, for my YouTube channel I want to start making some serious content so um, whether it's gold farming videos like I used to do or um, just me tackling a uh, subject matter that might be of interest to people. Um, I'd like to actually be start creating some quality videos uh, for my YouTube channel, not just me streaming and then posting that stream to YouTube. Um, I, I think I need to actually start uh, developing my my um, my vi my videos a little bit better than that. So that's where I'm going to be going from here as far as my channel is concerned. And I'm hoping um, I'm hoping that this is okay with all of you. Um, again. Um, it was kind of a rush decision, but it was a decision that I had to make. It, it had been a decision that I'd been thinking about for probably about a month, but this whole incident with the bands just kind of hurried it up. So 
anyways i want to thank you guys all for your support um there's been so many people that have still come and kept watching the stream even though i'm not streaming maybe the content that they want i'm going to try and make things as fun as possible for you guys and uh, really kind of take my streaming a little bit more seriously now and uh, i hope you all enjoy it um, if there's any videos you'd like me to create for youtube uh, please feel free to send me a PM or tweet at me or something like that. And uh, uh, for the time being, I'll probably start streaming um, nights, uh, probably around six or seven. Um, I don't know which nights of the week though. I think I'm going to start off with like a four four uh, um, uh, stream, um, four streams a week. Maybe see if we can go up to five. I do have a full time job though, so uh, it's taking up a lot of my time suddenly. But Anyways, again, thanks. I'm just kind of rambling here, guys, so I'm going to leave it at that. I really, really do appreciate um, all of you guys that have come around, and I'm sorry that this is kind of what's happened with these turn of events, um, but it's a little bit out of my hands with the long-term goals that I've set for this, this channel. So um, I hope you all understand. I hope to still see you around, and I hope to see you in game. So um, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.